The country in recent times is recording unpredictable weather patterns. The usual rainfall pattern in the country has changed. Experts have attributed these changes to climate change, a global issue which Ghana is not exempted from. Government, in an effort to reduce the effect of climate change, is promoting Green Ghana, an environmental program. However, the Deputy Director General of the Council on Scientific and Industrial Research insists government should do more by giving incentives to industries and individuals who are green in their activities in order to encourage more businesses and individuals to be bio-friendly. According to the Deputy Minister of Trade and Industry, Neil Lante van der Poy, it is a decision government is considering. The government already committed itself that those who want to go, local industries that want to go into solar, are going to have support. And I think anybody, any investor, any private investor who is so desirous of producing here, not importing into the country, but producing solar panels here, assembling solar panels here, in order to create jobs and also uh, 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 create wealth, I think government will totally support it. Nicholas Menu is the owner of Cook Clean Ghana, a company that makes eco-friendly cooking utensils. Our challenges are mainly import uh, costs and also the uh, very little support we get from government. Give some kind of incentive as to uh, remove the taxes and the VAT on the product so that many, many, many people can use our products. Stakeholders trying to promote an economically friendly Ghana say government needs to step up efforts to make their work easier and more effective. Deborah Smalley Lomote for ETV News.